hockey fans, Christina here with Storm TV. I am joined by head coach of the GP Storm, Kevin Higo. We are fresh off the Brian Nash Memorial game last night and training camp opening weekend. Why don't you talk to us about how it's all gone so far? It's It's been real good. Um, we got going there last Friday and uh, we had everybody check in, do fitness testing. Um, again, the guys at VO2 did a real good job for us. Uh, we practiced a couple times on Saturday, had our Brian Nash game last night. And it was outstanding again. Uh, we're all happy with the attendance, uh, the players' effort. Um, real good uh, step in the right direction. So yesterday would have been day three. We're on to day four today and uh, still going at it. Now when you look at last night's game, fans definitely got their money's worth. That ended up into a shootout that I didn't think was ever going to end. But that was really impressive. It speaks volumes about what you have to work with for the talent this year. Yeah, the energy level's been real good. Um, the, the kids have been, have been solid um, for all, all of the sessions. Uh, and to see it that even uh, was real good. Um, we balanced the teams out. Those teams practiced with each other on Saturday and then had a morning skate on Sunday. And um, It was physical, um, which we talked about uh, to some other media people. And uh, We've really challenged the group to try and get closer as a, as a team. Um, so when sometimes you spend time with guys and you become friends and buddies, it's hard to compete against them. But last night it was real physical and, and something that we need to do as a team. Now, was there anyone or anything in particular that stood out to you last night when watching? Well, I think the just how physical it was. Um, you know, the guys uh, knew that there's there's positions uh, up for battle. I mean, we have we have a lot of returning guys. We've got some real good young guys coming in, um, which makes for competition, and that's what training camp's all about. And I mean, we have about 40 guys here now. Um, we're going to have some guys leaving to go to Western Lake camps, and, and we we need to at some point in time. Um, our first step is we want to get down to 30, and then we want to get down to 25. So um, as we move along, the, the decisions are going to be harder and harder, and the guys realize that. Well, that was where I was kind of going with that, is you had two full teams there, and you've got to cut it down to one. So what are the next steps? Like, how long is this going to take you? Well, I mean, we we're saying that training camp won't be done until uh, until we start the regular season. Um, and we'd like to get down to our 23, 22, probably uh, uh, by the time we come back from high level. Um, it's kind of a process that, uh, that we have some control of, some of what we don't. We have uh, six players leaving to the Western Hockey League as early as today and tomorrow and uh, work along. Um, and then we'll have to wait and see when if, if those guys do come back. Um, but we'll make some releases before we go to Camrose. Our goal is to get to 30 uh, to go to Camrose. After Camrose, we'd like to get down to 25. But it's going to fluctuate because as guys go, guys might come back from, from the Western League. So. That'll be a work in progress, but the goal is to get to probably 22 by the time we start the season on uh, September 11th. And that is a super hard process when you have guys that are going away to those WHL camps. You don't know if they're coming back. So how do you kind of plan to build a team around that? Well, I mean, I guess experience. Uh, I've been at this level before, and we understand that the, the higher levels have more control over what we do than, than, than we do. Um, so we just take it in the notion that they're not coming back. And then if they do come back, we deal with it at that time. Um, for some of the guys, you know, it's, it's uh, highly likely that they're coming back, so we can plan for that. And the other guys, it's highly likely that they're not coming back. Um, you know, a prime example was a, was a player that skated with us today, Jared McCammon. Last year he went to Regina. We didn't know whether he was coming back or not. Um, and luckily we planned for him not being back because he stayed in Regina the whole time. So uh, we foresee the same thing happening this year. So it's, uh, if they're not here, then at that point in time we move on like they're not going to be here. And that just opens up a spot for somebody else. Junior hockey is a cyclical thing. Um, you guys have been in kind of rebuild mode. You had a really young team last year. So what can fans look forward to this year? Like more experienced players or? Sure. I mean, everybody's got at least a year under their belt. Um, we have a lot of second year guys, um, a lot of younger second year guys, uh, 17, 18 year olds. Um, so we'll, we'll be more experienced. Will we be an older team? Probably not, not, not too, uh, that much. But, um, you know, I think the energy level last night showed that we're going to be a quicker team. Um, we're going to play more up-tempo. Um, we're going to have our defensemen be more active, uh, which makes for more exciting hockey. And I think with, with the confidence of being in the league for another year, that, that helps with the guys too. You guys are taking it on the road soon, heading up to Camrose. Why don't you tell us about what's going to happen there? Yeah, it'll be a real good experience for the guys. Um, we're going to take th uh, 30 guys. Um, we're going to play three games there against Sherwood Park, Drayton Valley, and uh, Camrose. Um, the last I heard was there was going to be 15 NCAA schools there, so it'll be real good exposure for our guys, uh, real good uh, opportunity for us to evaluate guys, and then just some more time to prepare for the season, so it should be good. Now that's a traveling game, but fans want to come here to Revolution Place, sure. so when is the next game going to be that the fans can come and see? Uh, it'll be uh, next Tuesday uh, when Prince George comes to town, so it should be, uh, it should be good because, I mean, we don't play those guys. Um, it's been a while since Prince George and Grand Prairie have played games. 
uh, used to be a tradition. Um, so hopefully we're going to get that back going again. But new competition, um, another chance for us to, to evaluate and prepare. So uh, it should be exciting. Well, if last night was any indication of what we're going to see this season, it's going to be a really exciting hockey season for Grand Prairie Storm fans. So if you want to uh, check out the games, make sure you get your tickets at Revolution Place Box Office and check out gpstorm.ca.